I want to give you a little update on grading. So if everyone could join me on our site and uh, jump down to teaching. And then letter grades. We talked through this briefly, right? At the beginning of the term? A little bit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll just give you an update on how this, this works. And I'm going to say it a little bit more generally because we're talking to the whole online audience. Um, so my philosophy on grading, as we know, hasn't involved me counting up points for the individual assignments that you do. And that is a strategic choice. As I mentioned before, I have spent many years of my life tallying points and making spreadsheets. And at the end of the day, I don't feel like all that effort really helped people learn stuff very much. So I'm trying a new approach here, which is I support you doing work, I give you structured things to do, we work together, we learn Java, and then you give me a suggestion for what you think a fair grade would be given what you know you've done and what you can see everyone else has done. That's the neat thing about grading in this class is everything that I would look at for your grade, everyone can look at. Everything we post is online, it's all open to the public, and so I hope that it makes for a transparent process. The key is that you need to suggest what you think a fair grade is. Um, and so here's my general interpretation that I wrote down, if you want to read it, you know, colleges and organizations like documentation. So the official policy is that I think credit should go to people who put forth a good faith effort in working in the class. Like I've demonstrated or talked about before, um, we have students coming in to Java with two plus years of high school exposure or uh, X plus years on the workforce working in computers and generally being around coding folks. We have other folks come in that have never seen a line of code in their life. So brand new. Now this course is officially supposed to work for both groups. So it, uh, from a teaching standpoint, I, I don't see fairness in saying, well, everyone has to get to here. This is an A, and this is a B, and this is a C. That doesn't make any sense. Because first of all, these students, it doesn't make sense for someone to get an A in a class just because they could have done it. Maybe they'd skip over the class, but it doesn't make sense to give people credit. You see where this goes? For this person, maybe getting to here is a huge jump because they've never done programming. They didn't know what a directory was, and they never opened a text file before. So this is a big jump. This is certainly a worthy effort, but maybe this is a worthy effort too, to go from someone that can do the fundamentals, and by the end of the class, they're programming encryption algorithms. That's a work, and this is a work. So in order to figure out what a work is, I'm just going to ask you to give me some input. And that's what you do on your card. So you write it. On a card, it looks like this. I've shown you these before. You tell me the letter grade that you think you should earn. You tell me why you think you should earn it. Like, I've worked through all the modules. I came in and, and got help. I watched an extra six hours of YouTube videos. Don't watch an extra six hours. Read another book. Read another book. I'm on a YouTube battle with my, West, my North Campus people. Um, so uh, that's the general gist. And so I will then look at those cards. If we have an agreement, if I think that the evidence you presented seems fair for the grade that you wanted, then I enter that grade. If there's a dispute, then we have a conversation. And I say, I think this is more fair. And you say, well, I think that's more fair. And we try to figure something out. I have yet to have that not result in an agreed upon situation. The minute the day it doesn't, maybe I'll revise the policy. Uh, but until it doesn't, isn't working, uh, it's been working pretty well. So this is happening with my online students right now. This will happen next Monday for this class. So I tell you that today because if you'd like to be able to write on your note card, I'm up to date on all the module projects, you've got a week to do it. And so then when you do the card on Monday, I'll enter that grade for Wednesday, and we'll be all set for midterms. How's that sound? Questions? Those of you that have been in my classes before, do you want to make any comments? Pretty fair. Okay, good. Question? I was just wondering, do we have a spring break? When is it? Yes, last week in March. Okay, cool. Yep. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah, three weeks away. So the idea is that we will get up through, up until we start objects right before spring break. We will come back from spring break. Our souls will be cleansed from the break, and we will jump into a whole new approach to Java. 
maybe not cleansed, refined, renewed, reinvigorated, something like that. Spring break. <laughs> the opposite of cleansing will occur.